just uploaded part one of the YouTube channel, so it's just free. Go check it out. Um, yeah, so let's get right into season one again, I guess. I'm gonna be watching a video in the background. There we go. Good one. I, I was scared that I didn't save. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm a little bit louder than you. It's like 4 p.m. right now, so, you know, I'm allowed to be loud. Or he's loud. Or he's loud. Yeah, we near me. We're going to stop. They just got kicked out of her shoes. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I By the way, guys, uh, if you're confused, this is before they meet Rick. Rick's still in a coma. This is probably day. I don't know what day we woke up, but I'm guessing it's about around day 10 to 15. I don't know. I, I need to look it up, but like. It's, it's, it's very early. It's before they meet Rick. And, uh, so, yeah, it's before they meet Rick. It's before Glenn goes off into the city and meets all the, the Glenn Presser things. So, yeah. Sorry, pausing it, but here, I'm just gonna look when we... Okay, sorry, guys. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't really say when we woke up. Like I didn't find anything. But I'm guessing it was really early. It was. It wasn't as early as Rick, because Glenn is with the group when Rick wakes up. Say that door stays shut no matter what? I fucking mean it! 
We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. And we let them. We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. The leader. I don't wrong. give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the. Holy shit! Son of a bitch! One of them is bitten. Shit! We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just he is a boy. A butt cheek. It's... We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. Mm. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here!
Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, that's a dumb. That was a dumb. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well, in that case. I did try you to get him to calm down. down. Pan it, asshole. It's his heart. <laughs> My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We need a lot of ammo, or we just have to be sneaky. Cover him. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so Even though he's a big butt cheek, I'm still gonna let him. Much. Or try to help him. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around, Tom? That'd be great. You're you know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Man, he's like Rick at this point. Okay. This is where we get to walk around. Let's take the energy. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. <laughs> Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh, uh. uh not right now. All right. Let me know if you want to. Yeah, we, we're still... We're gonna give that a... Uh... Oh, it's wide. Easter egg hunt. Until... The idea. Here, just a like, place where the zombie tried to come and build It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hmm. Authorized employees in him. Confused. It was Clementine. 
There seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Oh. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This door leads to the back alley. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Nothing I need in here. A first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh... Yeah, he was. Yeah. And you, and you really had really to protect she... yourself. She, she's too young. Uh, to know what happened yet, so that's why I'm keeping it, like, because that will scar her. Probably make her not that's trust right. us. Oh, okay. Or on the talkie or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? 
So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. Let's see how uh, Carly and her musty dad. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got musty your name. Musty. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Uh, Lily. Sorry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. <laughs> it's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey, I think we should tell, uh, let's take this candy bar. And let's go give it to Clementine since she's still... We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. 
really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Okay, guys, uh, if they're done talking, uh, okay, guys, so in about 12 minutes or so, 6 o'clock, uh, I'm going to go take a shower and stuff because I have school tomorrow and I want to be able to play. So I'm going to keep we this just stream need on. To get you can back stop to Fort watching Lauderdale. whoever's watching. We'll do our damnedest. Stop if you want. I'm going to be back. Just my okay, candy bar I'm gonna give one of the candy bars I have to a uh, duck try to get some rest it's honey. not much but here for the boy oh thanks Lee he appreciates it that's sweet Lee it's all okay. melted now Okay, I'm gonna tell, uh, Spear. I'm gonna tell, I think the name's Carly. I really don't know. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Oof. It's a oof moment. There he is. There's Lee. I'm guess. That might be. Yeah, Carly. That. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Here we go.
honestly, all I want to do is like. Did you see that? Sure did. You ready to shoot? Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! <laughs> Right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. Can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> <That's proof. laughs> Oh. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Sneak over to the RV. Where to next? How do you... He's gone, and we can't use that much. We're going to need weapons. I think you're going to need more than your fists, man. To sneak back over to the wall. Uh, let's go over this way. Is there anything in this car? What are you gonna do with that? Any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. 
Be careful. We're going to need something. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. A that was silencer? sick. That was sick. A pure silencer. Yeah. Maybe it's a push it. Push it. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Let's use spark plug to get inside. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. <laughs> Wait, does it actually work like that? That's actually kind of sick. Okay, we have I our weapon choice. Brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's walk back over here and get this, and get the guy that's eating. Screwdriver. Wait, am I gonna be able to kill you? Okay. Well, okay. So, in that case, we're gonna redo it. And I hope we don't die this time. I'm gonna help the What the heck? I pressed it. Watch his intestines get ripped out of Yeah. I have an idea, I have an idea. Maybe I shouldn't go just straight for the kill. Maybe I should sneak over to the... We did him. Nice, nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Who 
more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. back in a couple minutes.
Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry for the long wait. Um, as you know, I had to go take a shower. So. Yeah, let's get right back into this and save this girl. We need to, like... Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Okay. You might want to break through that board first. Coming out. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I what? said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back. And you kill anything you can find! You have a boyfriend? What? I don't want that! It's not Christian! Please, just leave me, please go! Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Yeah, really is it. Fine. Did you see the gun just Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. was actually a pizza de delivery boy before the pop. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah. 
we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. I think we should go over here with him. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of you? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. Shoot up and shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Oh. Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Be 
Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? Yeah, I think they're most that. of who you see wandering around out there. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, so, what are we... <clears throat> a brick. Oh, we can throw it, like... At that window. Ooh, quarterback for the NBA. Vandalism. Nice. Lee Everett. I got an idea. Searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Let's head back inside. Okay. Hey, Carly. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Check up on her. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Here, I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids? How you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everett's a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place? Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? She was dead anyway, all bitten up like that. It was over for her. You better hope you're never bitten, then. No shit. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. The pills are in there. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Office again. Yeah, it's in the office. Uh, I'm just 
What's that? Oh, a hammer. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Zombie out on the street. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. How about if I press here? Ow. Big ow or little ow? Um, medium ow. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. You got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip-top shape. Okay, well, it's not broken. There you go. And probably, yeah. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. 
Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Keys it is, I guess. No versus men and men works. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. 